Um, we're going to start off by having our gracious host, be Nancy Matthews from the Ruben Team School, um, welcome you all here. Not only is uh, Dean Matthews a uh, fabulous leader for our school, but she also is a member of the VMC Steering Committee and has really helped us um, envision how we can be friendly and improving as we move forward. So I'll turn it over to Nancy. <laughs> Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to this 25th anniversary. This is a quite a monumental occasion, and it's great to see and know that there are students here and people all across Vermont and across the Northeast, and a very special and warm welcome to both Jim Hubbard, uh, the Deputy Chief of State and Private Forestry, and Monica Lear, uh, Director of Forest Health Protection from the U.S. Forest Service. And I just want to make sure everybody knows thank you for being here. Well, for the past 25 years, the Vermont Monitoring Cooperative has been a hub for coordination, communication, and data sharing for scientists, researchers, policymakers. And it was created in 1990 uh, with a generous uh, grant from U.S. Senator Patrick Leahy, and to whom I think we owe a huge debt of service and thanks for both his foresight and his insight. As a result of his support early on for the Vermont Monitoring Cooperative, it's become a shining example of a thriving collaboration. And collaborations are hard, and these are difficult things to keep going for 25 years, but a collaboration between a state partner, a federal partner, and a university. And I think, in my mind, it is an example that many respect and admire and serves as a model for the rest of the country. Uh, the VMC manages over three decades of forest health uh, ecosystem data. And since its beginning, it's supported over 100 research projects from the north on Mount Mansfield to the south in uh, Lye Brook in southern Vermont. And it serves as a critical role in the northeast as a database management uh, service, a coordinator for Vermont's long-term forest ecosystem air quality studies. And one of the key functions, as I mentioned, is that it is a potential, uh, it serves as a model of a potential long-term partnership and collaboration with three partners, and it's highly successful, and again, something that I think many, many people appreciate and emulate. The innovative collaboration has allowed great things to happen. It's expanded research with uh, multiple partners in data management from major funding agencies, such as the U.S. Forest Service McIntyre Stennis Program. It's provided valuable internship opportunities for over 60 graduate students over the years. And it's engaged over 1,100 undergraduate students through service learning courses who use real data to assess real problems and gives them the experience they need to kick off their careers. And perhaps most obvious, and often uh, not discussed or uh, really given enough credit, the Vermont Monitoring Cooperative is really the long-term driver for monitoring efforts and ensuring that we know what's happening with the health and the status of uh, our state's most valuable biodiversity resources. So collaborations of this type are necessary to tackle the complex environmental issues that we have during our day, uh, but they don't happen easily, and they require strong, inclusive, and transparent leadership. And for this, we are extremely grateful to the entire VMC team. And I want to take a minute to thank everybody. Uh, it's led by Jen Pontius. I'm going to have you all stand up, uh, give you a little shout out here. Uh, Jen Pontius, and uh, including Carl Waite, Jim Duncan, Mim Pendleton, and um, Judy Rozofsky. Or all of you stand. And I just want to thank you all for your leadership and the incredible efforts you have done. So this small but effective team has leveraged their time, their talents, their wisdom and resources to maintain one of the most accessible sources of long-term data records of forest health, uh, wildlife, soil, air, water, and quality, water quality data for the entire region. And it's because of their work that we have this high quality database that's accessible to researchers, as I said, students, and many collaborators. So a huge thank you again for the leadership. It also means that there are many others who contribute to this, including the steering committee and the advisory committee. And would all the members of the steering advisory committee just stand up so we can see who you are? And again, thank you for your support for the Vermont Monitoring Cooperative over the years. And I know there are some here. Thank you. Thank you all.
So later this morning, we're going to be hearing from our founding members of VMC, uh, including uh, Bob Paquin, Larry Forcier, uh, Conrad uh, Modica, and Tom Berry over the formative years and how the cooperative came together. And again, it's going to be an exciting way to celebrate the 25th anniversary uh, and looking forward to the next 25 years, I hope, of the cooperative uh, continuing to contribute the amazing work that they do in monitoring biodiversity, forest health, and many types of databases that will continue to serve students, researchers, and policy makers. So this time I'm going to turn the podium back over to Jen Pontius to describe the day to you and uh, the incredible lineup of speakers and uh, wish you all a wonderful day. Um, I think we have a very different uh, climate from last year if anybody was able to make it in the snow last year but um, 50 degrees is, is kind of nice in some ways. Yes, yes. Thank you and welcome. Thank you. So for those of you who don't know me, I am Jen Pontius, and I think it's interesting, as, as Nancy pointed out, the importance of this collaborative network and how nice it is to see it actually being successful to bring together university and federal and state agencies. I realized, just sitting here, that I'm almost the epitome of that and that I am a Rubenstein School faculty member, but I'm also a Northern Research Station, so it's U.S. Forest Service uh, research ecologist, so I've decided that all I really need is a state title, Mike. <laughs> And then I can encompass it all. Um, so today, this 2015 really marks a fabulous year for VNC. I mean, 25 years of the wealth, the breadth and depth of data that the VMC Collaborative, and that includes all of the people who've contributed to that data, um, that database really is amazing and stands out um, among all of the other long-term data sets out there. So VMC really has done something very well. But 2015 also marks a turning point for us in that we are now working to take this structure that we have set up and, and efficiently put to work in Vermont to try to expand that regionally. And so it's really nice to see so many familiar faces, but we also have a lot of new faces here um, from our neighboring states. And so I want to say thank you to all of you for coming and participating to get a feel, a little bit, know what BMC does a little bit better um, and how we might be able to expand what we do in other states. So, so again, a very exciting time for BMC. I'm going to leave it at that because we are going to move through a, a morning that's going to leave you in a blur. We're, we're working on a new format here, this lightning talk format. Hopefully our speakers are prepared for this. Um, do we have our timer with the, uh, the flashcards and the, the hook, the hook to pull them off the stage? Um, because of this different format, we really are limited in the amount of time that we're allowing each person to present the historical data of whatever topic it is that they'll be presenting. But we want people to be able to have time to ask questions. That's not going to be possible during the plenary. So if Jim Duncan could come up. This is Jim Duncan, our database and web manager, and he is actually so much more than that, as most of you know. Um, but he's going to give you some high-tech instructions on how you can still ask the questions that you'll be interested in and get answers. Thanks, Jen. So as uh, she said, the plenary session is really tightly timed. So without a Q&A, we're moving it online and we're going to do a little deferred Q&A. Uh, we're going to be posting uh, questions on our Facebook event page. You can find the link to it in the agenda, or if you go to the Vermont Monitoring Cooperative Facebook page, there's a link to it there. <clears throat> and you can uh, either post the questions yourself, or we're lucky to have a team of great Rubenstein grad students. If you could stand up, we have uh, Kathleen Balancic and Nicole Rogers and Alex Siva and David Goodex Cross. They are your people if you would rather go analog. There's paper under your chairs or a chair nearby. You can write it down on there and pass it to them. They'll take care of posting it to the page. Um, by doing this, we can centralize all the questions, and they're going to take care of tracking down our speakers um, at the breaks and at lunch to get answers to your questions and post them up on Facebook. You don't need to be a member of Facebook or even log in to look at the page so everyone can access it. Um, and the goal is to have this all up there by lunch. Uh, so in this way, you can still get those questions out there, and we can still get answers back to you in near real time. Um, so I hope that we can make that work. If you have questions, let me know. And with that, I'd like to turn it over to Steve Sinclair, the Director of Forest for Forest Parks and Recreation in Vermont. He's going to be moderating our morning session.